Hi. It is Basic Sorgon. I'm myself, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. With me, of course, is Missy. Rebellious Flaw on Twitter. Hello. Hello. I'm usually the one answering your messages when you message us on Sidekick or Sorgatron Media on our Facebook. Wait, I am or you are? You are. Oh, yeah, It's been am. you lately. You've been, you've been, been taking that task. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That responsiveness. Keep that percentage up that Facebook keeps giving us, right? Yes. Uh, but this is where we chat about you know, everything going on and what kind of what's on our mind for the day. So what's, what's the name of the show? This is the so- Basic Sorgonomics. I said that part. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Psychic Media Service Sorgatron Media here in Beachview. Is that all the? Did I check all the boxes? I think you did. All right. So uh, if you're if you're checking in live, uh, at least the the temporary title is Missy's Crazy Wall. Yes. Because <laughs> this is the interesting thing that's been happening, where there'll be a concept that comes up, and she kind of hits it. He hits. She say, she hits it pretty hard, right? And I walk in, and there's this one, and one of the tables here, one of the one of the extra desks that we have here for when other people come in, um, is. Uh, it is just filled with sticky notes, and and I was like, oh, you have your crazy wall, and and but this is you like kind of planning events and and scheduling things out and, and things like that, and we, we we wanted to talk about that a little bit today. And it's it's more than just events; it's my thought process. So, I am a huge proponent of lists mm-hmm. because they help me keep track of things, and I can literally check things off, and it makes me happy when I can check things off. And I don't always work in a digital space because sometimes I need to work outside of the digital space and actually have it IRL in paper in my hand. So I do use online services such as, you know, Trello and Slack and different things to kind of keep communication going and and work on some of those processes. But before I can actually put something into Trello at times, I need to map it out and make sense of how I'm going to be putting it into Trello. Because for me, it's easier for me to go through like a paper note system versus a an online digital note system unless I know how that digital note system is going to kind of tie in for the way that my brain functions and works. So it's it's a two-part process. And I love the fact that, that you were talking about how I had everything spread out on the table. Because for one of the groups that we're working with, we're looking at community events mm-hmm. and... I literally put together like there was one color of sticky notes for each month and it goes November of this year through December of next year. So I had 14 sticky notes colored that way and it helped with the organization of of the rest of the the crazy wall. So then I had a different color for like recurring events that were were monthly. So uh, or not monthly, but they were... uh, larger events that we'd be doing kind of you know quarterly events if, if, if you'd like to say so I had some ideas put together for that and they stuck on one side of the the crazy wall and the nice thing about the sticky notes is I can literally move them so as I was going through and f- building out things for the month I w- had a sticky note for each of the month and then it was I needed to come up with a title for the monthly event so I put together some titles and put together some options based on, you know, themes, I guess you could say, for each month. And, you know, for instance, it was like th- for Thanksgiving, for November, it was, you know, businesses that we're thankful for type of thing. Um, you know, for March, it's uh, follow your pot of gold. And it's, uh, you know, for fi- financial planning businesses throughout the, the business district here. And there were a couple of things that I put together and it was like, nah, I really don't like it. Ooh, this makes more sense for this other month. So then I could literally move it, which is why I, again, put it on the sticky notes is because I can pick the sticky note up off of my little crazy wall and I can move it to a different location really easily. As opposed, it, it, it's her own IRL drag and drop, really. Exactly. And like regular events that we could do aside from you know, the organized community events for this group, I put together, you know, major holidays that fall throughout the months. So, um, you know, here in Beachview, it's, it's a pretty decent Latino community. So Cinco de Mayo is, is a huge thing for, for the population. And it's, it's great because working within the business district and working to kind of bolster some of that community organization stuff, 
one of the things that I, I put on my things that you should do in May is a Cinco de Mayo event. And we kind of did a Cinco de Mayo event, I think, last year with the um, Jardín de Unidad that was put in. There, there was also there, there was a Cinco de Mayo event, too. Yeah, but I don't... But, but I don't think we, we weren't terribly involved in that. Yeah, and it was kind of one of those that it was, oh, there's something happening up here. What's happening? Oh, there's some cool stuff happening up here. <laughs> remind me, by the way, remind me to schedule no recordings for Cinco de Mayo. Because they put on a big concert festival craziness in the parking lot across the street, and we will not be able to get anything done that day. <laughs> Good to know. So would block that out. Does, does that fall on a Tuesday? I don't. Oh no. Oh no. Sorg, Sorg is now checking out the date for May fifth, <laughs> which is uh, Cinco de Mayo. Off the calendar. Um, but yeah. So like I said, my my process is is kind of that, and it's a similar way that I work with client projects. So a client comes to me with ideas that they want to work into their website or their social, and I can work through it in that actual physical space. We're in a clear. It's a Wednesday night. Oh, good, 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 good. Uh, (laughs) We're not going to be worrying about podcast night for that week. Uh, But it works out really well because, again, I can take things off. I can literally just just move them around and make it make sense for how my brain works with it. And with this particular crazy wall that I put together, I was able to put that into a Google uh, a Google spreadsheet. It translates very well, doesn't it? Yeah, and I even color coded it, which everybody loved when uh, when we brought it to the group proper. That it was color coded and that it was explained out, and I had actually mapped out. These are the events that we could do. These are the businesses that we can work with. And this is kind of how we can formulate. So I, I had already put together an idea. Uh, so it was the concept as well as partial integration strategy. All because of my crazy wall. Mm-hmm. Which is something that, again, that's the way that my brain works. Is I, I literally map it out. And this was mapped out. Let's see. Very translatable to like a Google Calendar afterwards Mm -hmm. and everything like that i I loved how you set it out and then you translated it to a piece of paper (laughs) just just to make it mobile for because i think i think you had something you you had mapped it out and then you had you needed to take it to a meeting (laughs) you you realize that i legit have that stuff still together i yeah no 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 like i want to i want to i want to go grab the crazy wall so i can put it up here hold on, on. go get the is it right. accessible go get the crazy it's accessible. wall she's hey, gonna yeah. go get the crazy wall right now ladies and gentlemen uh that. but you know and, i mean that's that's the kind of um crazy uh organization strategies that i see happen around here and it's pretty great uh the dog the dog is curious what's going on now i, I think he thinks he's getting a treat but hanging out on the there there not there, but, um, but anyways, as I'm vamping, 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 and she's, she's shuffling, shuffling around her desk, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. She has something. She's coming back with pieces of paper. There's something happening. Here she is. She's coming back and sitting down back to the, the, the dog is, the dog is curious what the paper is. Still thinks it's a treat. Still needs, still thinks it's a treat. You do, you don't have a, a, turn your mic on, turn your mic on. There you go. All right. I'm so. getting there. Explain this. All right. So. Uh, for remember, we may have some audio listeners later, too. Yes. So what I had done is we have, and for, for those looking here, oh, the camera's um, over here. The camera's over here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm holding up a piece of paper that has all of the Beach View businesses that are laid out, and I have them color coded. Mm-hmm. So the color coding on this is Beach View, we have the main strip that our office is located in along the trolley line along Broadway Avenue. So this is our, our like main business corridor. But Beachview expands out to a couple of other different locations. So what we had done is there's still Beachview businesses. We'd still like to have them integrated into some of these events. Mm -hmm. How do we do this? So, uh, again, I went through and I highlighted, okay, this is the Banksville Road Corridor. This is the uh, West Liberty Corridor. This is the Salmon Run Corridor. And now that I had them color-coded, this is how my brain works. I was able to take the color-coding and literally turn it into a, okay, this would make sense to do this. Um, so it made it easy to, to kind of orchestrate as far as that was concerned. So as far as the event timeline things, this is, this is my crazy wall when it was taken down because these are all of the sticky notes that I actually did. So you can see that they're color-coded. So the, the purple ones here are, like I said, when I put the months, 
that's November and December are over here as I'm working backwards. So I'm looking at this image of me, uh, November and December over here. And then January through December of 2018 are over here. And like I put together, you know, again, like the thankful for new businesses and it's a feature, uh, we, we do a spotlight for a new business within the district, uh, custom gifts and workshops for December. We have, uh, sparkle dragon down the way that they do kind of metaphysical type of stuff and she's done workshops like you know build your own or make your own soap or make your own candles type of thing figured that could translate really well over to like a, a christmas gift type of thing you know come come in and you know make a christmas gift for for mom or something like that so i went through and i literally broke everything down and then i have um you know like i said major holiday type of things so it's you know christmas is in december well i didn't want to fully shuffle away from the Christmas thing. So I'm, I'm looking at doing like a cookie decorating thing, which CLP, the, the library did one of these last year and I helped with, uh, with, uh, bakery stuff. So essentially I put together a bunch of sugar cookies, made up a few batches of icing and took them down with little baggies and let the kids decorate ice or decorate cookie cu- cookies as part of their like kids event for the day. So that, like I said, this, this is, my idea goes from this, except spread out more so across a desk, because like where this is overlapping, it was side by side instead of overlapping. Because you need room to breathe with your ideas. Well, especially since I'm doing literally 14 months worth of events with some of the, some of the months are busier and have like multiple things. So like looking at April. Looking at April, you know, um, April showers bring May flowers type of thing. So we wanted to kind of focus on businesses that work with, you know, home care, car repair type of stuff. So getting your, your vehicle ready for spring or whatever. Um, or I'm sorry, not your vehicle, but your house ready for spring. Uh, but there's also Arbor Day. So working with pub to, to schedule a, a plant a tree day. Um, tax day. And the, the fun thing that I had with that is like, you know, buy your accountant a drink type of thing so you know you and your accountant both need to both need to kind of have a beer after running through your taxes just just kind of a fun little quirky thing but it's it's something that will get people out and do business things and it's something that I could literally map out with with my little wall here so this then like we said translated into the the google doc that I shared with the the group at large and had everything mapped out so you look confused are you looking at my di- are you looking at my digital crazy? Oh no 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 no! no. I, there's something else technical going on. I was looking at, so oh. don't worry about it. There's some numbers fluctuating on this computer. I'm like, what is this computer doing right now during this stream? It's so thinking. it's one of those things. So yeah, I mean that that's kind of like I said my, my process for stuff, and I really feel weird that I've been talking this entire time, and Sorg is just kind of looking at me like I'm crazy with my crazy wall. It's your crazy wall episode. That's a, I mean it's what it is. So, as an outsider looking at, at my crazy wall, what what are, what are you saying? You're like, there, there's a reason why what we're talking about this is a thing. Yeah, is it, it to point out that your wife is crazy or that's a legit like, model? I don't know. It's just like you're. I mean, it it, it works because it's getting stuff done, and you guys are moving ahead on a lot of stuff with this. And I know you've applied it to uh, some other concepts that we've been rolling out here uh, lately. So, I mean, it's it's kind of. I just want to. I think it's important to kind of see other people's processes. Um, I know for me, as we were, uh, as I was, you know, kind of changing things up in my life and my I guess, career, you know, I, I read a lot of books on, on ways to do things and the way other people have succeeded. And, and you know, those pro- process, processes, those processes. Um, and, you know, not everything is like, oh, I need to do that. But it's like, oh, I could take a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Mm-hmm. And you create something that works for you. And I think that's uh, that's why it's important to show kind of what you do so other people can be inspired to kind of move forward th- with their projects as well. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, I work obviously in a digital space, but there are times I, I'm the one that's known as the righty one in our group because I always have a pen and paper with me no matter where I go. And it's one of those things where that's – sure, I could pick up my phone and I could I could write a note out on my phone – but for me, the mechanical, like my brain connecting to my hand, connecting to the pen, I seem to get more out of it if it's written that way versus typing in a mechanical process that 
doesn't really take in, into account the way that it, it processes in my brain. Because mm-hmm. um, I take digital notes all the time. And for the most part, my fingers are just typing. And it's an automated response because it's muscle reaction for for the most part. Like I know where the keys are. I don't have to really do a whole lot of thought with it. Mm-hmm. Whereas picking up a pen and writing it, there's more actual process with it. Right, right. Versus me, I feel like the process of, of writing for me gets in the way of the thought, mm-hmm. you know, and it just feels like it, the way that I've adapted to it, right? No, and that, that, that works perfectly. I mean, there are t- plenty of times when, you know, I, I talk to my digital assistant on my telephone and, you know, take a note and I'll have my digital assistant take a note so that I can process it later. Usually that works really well when I wake up in the middle of the night with this brainstorm idea. So we are live on the uh, Facebook Live if you check us out in another uh, location. And uh, your mom has tuned in. My mom has tuned in. Your mom has tuned in from the West Coast. Hi, Mom. Hi. Uh, It says, if the crazy wall works for you, stick with it. No, put it in action and call it the crazy train. Yes, I like it. I like (laughs) it. Um, And that's exactly it is. is It's for me, it's my way of working through from start to finish. And I usually tell people this like at the outset of conversations with clients is I see the end point. I see the beginning point and my, my job, my goal is to bridge the two of them. And part of that process is for me, like it's legit. I'm looking at it right now in my head. Like I'm, I'm envisioning it and it's, you know, I'm taking this, I'm backward stepping here and then I'm forward stepping here to try to meet in the middle and connect that, that line this is an easy way for me to do that because again, I can plug and move bits and pieces along the way. So no, this, this really isn't going to work over here. Ooh, but this over here will. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So any, any tips for starting your own crazy wall other than buy lots of different colored post-it strips. And those are just post-it strips as well. Yeah. Um, If you follow post-its, they have the, uh, I love, we did when the coolest thing about doing the first startup weekend that, that we were involved with, was finding out how many different varieties of post-its there are yes. because I think they were um, I think they were sponsored by 3M. Yeah, 3M. Was so sponsored. there was like, did you know there's there's giant post-its? It's like, no, I do now. That's amazing. Well, and that's just it. Like I, I'm a whiteboard person, so this this is kind of my whiteboard without having a whiteboard because I loved the giant whiteboards. Like it, it worked hard when we were over there, trying to figure out a way to integrate one well into this space. And I'm seriously considering just throwing up some plexiglass on this vacant wall over here and having that be my <laughs> that be great. my whiteboard space. That's that, that 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 makes a lot of sense. And I think, you know, we've been talking about doing doing stuff like that. Uh, Doug has been in the chat room and he says, Don't touch the crazy wall. No, seriously, do not touch my crazy wall. Do not touch our crazy wall. Sorg made that joke once that he took one of the stickies away to see if I would notice. I noticed. I totally noticed. Anyways. So, yep. So there you go. There's a little insight into the deep, dark recesses of uh, Missy's mind, which is very colorful from the looks of her paper. So that's all right. And it's very well mapped out so you can find your way around pretty well. There you go. There you go. Uh, You can check out more and maybe the results of some crazy walls over at sorgatronmedia.com and sidekickmediaservices.com. Subscribe to Basic Sorgonomics. We're on iTunes and uh, all your podcatcher places. Uh, Just look it up. If it's not there, please let us know. At Sorgatron on Twitter, at Rebellious Flaw. On the Twitter, I follow the Facebook page. We're also putting the videos up on YouTube if you like that as your delivery device, device as well. Uh, thank you so much. And again, we we and do this. It's kind of, we do it kind of random, but we're trying to do it the five days a week, and morning to early afternoon ish, mm-hmm. depending on how the day goes. Yeah, how our workflow um, is. Yeah, the client meetings, the workflow, and such. clients. We, we haven't been able to lock it down into one thing just yet, but uh, you know, we're trying to make it consistent every day. So. We're you know, I kind of want to toss out there as well that we're doing our open coffee this weekend. We are. So if any of you out there are listening to this and you'd like to talk more about some of the concepts that we've been talking about or have a question in general that you're, you're trying to work through a process on something, come on out to our, to our open coffee. Uh, that is, Sorg's pulling up the, the Facebook event, I believe. Oh, that would be this Sunday. It's going to be 1 p.m., uh, right here at Sogatron Media Studios at uh, 1619 Broadway Avenue. Yeah, right across from the taco stand in Beachview. 
and mm-hmm. like I said, just get together with people and, and talk about the stuff they're working on. And we've also used it as, as a work through people have come in like, yeah, I'm working on this project. I'm not really sure. Like, this is what I'm doing with it. Do you have any suggestions to, to get it elsewhere? So it's not just us pimping our stuff. Mm-hmm. It's us helping other people over a nice cup of coffee. Yes, and uh, typically we have some nice Zeke coffee in here as well. So I might pick up some more from uh, Black Forge here this weekend. So, but cause I don't know. I haven't checked the bean count in the back. <laughs> yeah, we're about we're about half hippo. Ha- we're about half hippo. We're about half hippo. Fiona the hippo, where the coffee lives. Yes. <laughs> yes. I guess you're gonna have to come in and see what we're talking about yes. with that one. <laughs> Fiona, what is that? That's another episode of Basic Sorgonomics. We'll see you guys.